Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Lost in Tokyo. Uh, I'm actually in an underground area right now. And uh, today we're going to be going from uh, Ueno uh, over to Akihabara uh, through Kanda over to Tokyo Station. Today's theme, though, is vending machines. Uh, looking at some of the weirdest vending machines, having some coffees, maybe some snacks at the vending machines. I guess we'll uh, figure that out. But uh, good morning, everybody. I can't see the chat right now because, oh, maybe I can. My second phone is uh, kind of not working because I'm in a tunnel. But uh, I will try to scroll down and say uh, good morning to everybody. Um, I see Ram here, Lord Leonard, uh, I think Tyro is here, Christmas 365 might be on a plane, Michael Tata, uh, Lynn Sanger, good morning, hey mom, how are you, Mr. Smokehouse, good morning, Forsyth, you're here, how are you, um, Jeremy, good morning, Tetrazium, and once I get my second phone going, I'll say hi to everybody else, uh, but yeah, today uh, I'm actually standing inside a little vending machine area here, and well, it is kind of, hey Mike, Hawk, how are you? Um, it is time to get uh, something to drink right away, you know, but I'll show you kind of where I am. And I'm underneath the train track, Ueno Station here, and uh, yeah, this is one of the greatest uh, vending machine areas. I'm going to be getting this today, just in uh, honor always of Jim and Harriet, but 190 yen, that kind of sucks. I can get it a little bit cheaper. Um, they do have the ice cream vending machine. This is a Fang thing, of course. Then they have this here, which I think is kind of interesting itself. Get little knickknacks and things like that. You can see like the little uh, caterpillar and butterfly uh, keychains up in this area here, which is still kind of cool. And then right beside it is the bug vending machine which is horrible i don't know why anybody wants to do this okay wait i did this a few times actually but uh, you can see from giant cricket cookies hornet cookies bamboo worms ooh, cicadas rhino beetles mixed bugs hmm. i don't see scorpions oh there's a scorpion scorpion is right there horrible horrible so that is uh, the bug vending machine and the cute little, I think, arts and crafts vending machine. I'm, I'm just standing out of the way of everybody walking through here, of course. Um, but you know, for 900 yen, you can probably get an, a beautiful little keychain. Uh, I don't think they do have roaches. Not sure. But they have everything else, it seems. And of course, uh, we have this over here. So I need to uh, grab a flat white coffee. Uh, in honor of the Costas, who I'm sure will show up uh, later on, but I uh, can't wait to, to see them in Vegas. That's going to be freaking awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get our, our change going here. Uh, we are going to be hitting the vending machine in Akihabara also, so uh, stay tuned for that. And we got our first coffee of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for joining. I uh, truly appreciate you. Uh, I will get into the chat in a minute. Uh, my second phone, um, the reception. I'm surprised the reception is doing quite well here. But uh, cheers to all of you out there. We're going to hit uh, the south end of uh, Weno right now. Uh, Ami Okocho. Um, showing you guys a hundred times, of course. But you never know uh, what it's like. And uh, hey, Stanley. Hey, Kaza. Hey, uh, Andrew Lubar. But, yeah, let's get going. I'm definitely not getting the bugs. But this might actually, for my Patreon members, this might show up in one of your boxes one day. But I'm gonna try and tr get into the chat now, guys. Now, to get here, uh, into, this is the back of the stores, to get into this little vending machine area, which I think is amazing, personally, myself, you just kinda come through here. This is uh, an alleyway, but it's also the back end of uh, the stores here. And just as a reminder, I hope you smash your like button. It will help me out. This isn't a bad store. You might find sizes here. They do have some pretty good stores in the underground tunnels back in here. This is Ameri Americaya. Another good store, a lot of denim. And then you come out into this area here. And my favorite candy store is just up there. 
And of course, I've shown you a hundred times, but this is in, this is San Koen, my favorite green tea uh, store. And there you go. So I'm going to get into the chat or try to. Just give me one sec as I give you an Amiyokocho street view. Let's go to my channel. Trying to find the live. Oh, there we go. All right, we are back in the chat now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, looks like we got 33 likes already, so thank you so much for that. Uh, hi, Mom. Uh, oh, Jim and Harriet, how are you? Uh, Jason M., J Jeremy, Stanley, good morning. Merry Christmas is here, or whatever her, her name is. And, oh, cool, Rowdy. Sorry, I almost said your real name. Dave, how are you? Um, okay, I think I've said hi to a few people. Got 64 people in the chat, so hopefully uh, we can hit that 50 light goal, which is pretty cool. So this is Saturday morning uh, here on Amiokocho. Now this is one of the main, of course, uh, market areas. All the seafood is down there, all the god-awful Chinese restaurants, uh, outdoor things, so on and so forth. But we are heading south, and uh, we're gonna hit up See what we get. Hey, sister, Mindy's mom, how are you? Don't be sorry ever. Just want to give you a, a quick glimpse of Saturday morning through uh, some of the most visited uh, places, and of course, vending machines is on the list today. So, hopefully, you enjoy. It's a beautiful day here. If uh, if one of our members, hey, Janet, how are you? Eb, good morning. Um, one of our members, Karen Wolf, comes in. Please let me know. I have a uh, a wonderful message for her. But again, you know, you could probably come, like I always say, get some uh, <laughs> payment will be made in the game center. Interesting. Come get some fake stuff. Ten bucks. Why not? Game center is right here. Popo, -po. thank you so much, teacher. Well, you're welcome, I guess. I thought I saw somebody else here. But I guess not. Along here are all your uh, dried goods, lots of coffee. There's a good coffee place here. Uh, this is where we come and get uh, a lot of our uh, canned beans because they're like a buck a can, which is pretty damn cheap. Um, you got your fruit stand, you got your, your coffees and mustards I see. Uh, this is more dried fruit along here. Some good spices are along here also. Like, don't go to the regular stores. Come get uh, spices here in Ueno. Hiromi's favorite uh, dried fruit store, of course. And you know the Takoyaki place and all that. But we're going to head more south today. And remember, it is uh, Super Chat Saturday, so if you want to help support the channel and me as a YouTuber, I'd appreciate it. Oh, horrible watches. Don't want to have that. Discount ticket shop here. These are some of the stores I never check out. Oh, look at that. I, I've never noticed this before. Sweet potato chips. Oh, yum. There goes the glucose. <laughs> right, I saw this here, the Red Ribbon Army. That looked pretty cool. I've actually never checked out this store before. That's kind of pretty. It'd be nice for the summertime, nice and cool. Gives you that feel, still got the flowers, the flower pattern. Nice. <clears throat> Remember, if you have any comments, at Tokyo Drew, and uh, I will see your comments. I'm in love with Japanese sweet potatoes. I just bought some today. Awesome. <laughs> this is Okachi Machi Station, one stop south of Weno Station. Uh, you can get the train here, the Kane to Hoku Line. All your department stores are down that way, which is pretty cool. Robin Farmer says, hey, hey, how are you? My first Super Chat of the day, I think. Thank you so much, appreciate that. Yeah, I wish you were, uh, you, I remember you left a comment earlier about the azaleas. I still want to. I still want to meet up with you and find out what these good ramen places are that you are an expert at. Uh, there we go. 
as you're walking uh, from Akihabara, when you're exploring, there are so many amazing things. I've, I've shown you guys these a hundred times, uh, but there's always something new. There's always a different path that we could go to find hidden restaurants, you know, so on and so forth. I just want to come through here. Like, Japanese cake shops are the absolute best. Now, for me though, they're not as sweet as back home. Thank you, Jim and Harry, I appreciate that. For the Hiromi Fund. That's awesome. Yes, we, ladies and gentlemen, we need to start a Hiromi Fund. Oh, Uniqlo. Nice. Appreciate it. Oh, Nelson, thank you. And how are you, Nelson? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've lost weight, as we all know. Duh, cancer. <laughs> I'm going to be using that as an excuse. So make sure you get to Las Vegas, people. It's my final farewell tour. <laughs> I'm redoing my whole wardrobe with Uniqlo. Hey, Corey, how are you? And uh, you got you to gotta stick around, Corey, if you can. And Kenny, I have a surprise for you guys. Um, but I've been ordering online, Uniqlo, and <laughs> everything fits so I can change my fashion now instead of my god-awful hoodies and stuff like that. So there we go. All right, let me turn it around here. Oh, we hit 50 likes already? Thank you, Ram. Looks like Hack Sign was gifted a membership. So you come out in these back streets, you're gonna see a lot of these izakayas. There's some down here and there's actually some tucked inside there. Absolutely amazing uh, area. This whole department store here, this is, um, oh, I forget the name of it now. Ugh! But they just added this on about 10 years ago. <coughs> this was, this back area was a dump, um, you know, probably 10 or 15 years ago before they started building uh, this second half of the building and stuff. Absolutely a great little area for shopping. Takes you away from, you know, the local Amiokocho market. Um, you get your department store shopping. Some great restaurants, you got Dean and DeLuca over there. There's another restaurant I went to, Something Theory, I think it was. Um, and then it opens up into the Panda, I call this the Panda Park. Like how cute is that, eh? Having all the little pandas sitting here. I kind of show you from the other side here. I always show you guys this pen over here, but actually, I've, maybe this is the first for me. So, yeah, you get the pandas. Kind of interesting. Two girls hugging. No idea why. That's pretty cool. Mr. Smokehouse, thank you so much. Uh, he says, Drew, this is. It is the memory of Dickie Betts, played guitar and co-founder of the Allman Brothers. He'll be greatly missed. Good to see you doing well too. Well, thank you. Um, I'm not an Allman Brothers uh, fan, um, as in I don't know who uh, the people are, so on and so forth. But thanks for the information and uh, appreciate that. That's kind of cool. Anyways, as you're coming down here, there are a lot of amazing uh, stores underneath the train tracks. Uh, the other day I was with my Patreon members. We were kind of walking on the other side um, in the jewelry district. But I'm just going to kind of come down the uh, back streets along the way here. Oh, mom, you don't have to do that. Just something to help out with drinks and food. It's a 23.45, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. We got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5. Should I start auctioning Super Chats? <laughs> now, I'm just gonna sit down for one sec. Actually, I'll get a ledge first. Um, Di Punto is an actually a, not a bad uh, place. I do not know anything about this uh, place here, never been here. <coughs> Re menu looks kind of reasonable though. And then as we come down uh, the back streets along the way here, we'll be zigzagging throughout all the streets. I'm just gonna find a ledge because I have something to show you. Really exciting. Hey, Grover Monster. Kenny W, pandas and girls hugging. Best live stream ever. <laughs> okay, Kenny, 
I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> soft porn, soft porn. All right, we got a ledge here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, turn the camera around. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it, brother. I really do. Thank you. I got though, because I must stop. All right, guys. So um, I don't think I saw Karen Wolf in the uh, live stream today. Um, I did. I did send her an email. See <laughs> Um, I'm on top of a post office box. I have a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Corey, you'll love this. Uh, but th this is a gift from uh, Karen Wolf. We've seen her in the chat. Um, yeah, I, this is amazing. I gotta do it. I just, oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. And I'm gonna do it off camera. And then I'm gonna jump in the camera and you're all going to applaud, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Okay, let me go off camera. <laughs> All right, getting it on. Ah, oh, oh, my microphone. Ah, that's okay. Shouldn't do anything different. Can you all still hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, count three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Let's do it as a community. Three, two, one. You ready? Ba da! Steelers, baby. Thank you, Karen. This is uh, number seven, Ben Roethlisberger. You have no idea how excited I am. Karen, if you watch the replay, thank you so, so much. This is freaking amazing, people. The SoCal Mod Squad sent me an Otani jersey. Wait, I need a Dodgers jersey now. <laughs> and Karen, out of the kindness of her heart, um, sent me a Ben Roethlisberger jersey, something I've always wanted in my life. Unfortunately though, I'm not going to wear it around as I'm walking because it's a hot day and wearing black like I've been doing recently. Not goody goody, but thank you. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. You are right. So this is awesome. I know Corey in the chat, big Steelers fan. Of course, I'm a big Steelers fan. Um, thank you, Karen. Uh, I hope you're watching or hope you join later on if I see you. But thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, I, I had to bring it. I just had, whoa, what the hell? Here is my applause, brother. Wow. Um, guys, this is like getting blood out of a rock. My sister just gave me 50 bucks. $49.99. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> you almost said applesauce? Yeah, I wouldn't put that past you. I have a feeling though, Merry Christmas or Christmas 365 or whatever the hell you want to call her uh, is on her way to Japan, I hear. So no jump scares. If you are going to be here and you can uh, hang out, let me know. I would appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. So is that freaking awesome, guys? Amazing. Totally amazing. So thank you. Oh, I'll get a Dodgers jersey when I go to Vegas. So um, thank you guys. I got to hydrate here for a minute. And take, I want to actually take the time always to say thank you to my moderators. Uh, I know I have like 12 or 13 moderators, but not everybody can make every stream. Some do. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy, but I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you to the community, you know, for the Emoji Club people, my Patreon members. I usually do it at the end of a video, but we got 90 people here, 93 people. And uh, I just want to show you that from the bottom of my heart, I'm humble and grateful for everything you guys do for me. So thank you. Hey, Mikey in Vegas, how are you? Oh, yeah, and, and Luann, hi to the crazy hub, hubby. Just saying. All right, let's go. Oh, it's such a good day, people. Nothing is, and then today later on, as I zigzag through all the side streets here, showing you different restaurants that you might want to visit, I'm going to be uh, meeting up with Lucky Lou, uh, one of our subscribers, uh, over in Tokyo Station. That's why I'm heading towards Tokyo Station on this live stream. And she's got uh, a little gift for me. Um, it's, uh, I, I don't know if it's diabetic chocolate or sugar free chocolate or something along those lines. So, I'm gonna go meet up with her for uh, about half an hour, then I have an appointment I have to get to. Ah, it starts at 2.30 actually, I thought it was 2.45, but it's okay. 
So as you come along here, we pass by a couple restaurants. This one is always gonna have a big restaurant, but if you want the fire ramen, I think ramen pharmacist would probably know more about this. Um, I think this is where ramen pharmacist needs to come to J come back to Japan, to Tokyo. Take me here, teach me the laws of ramen. You know, here we go. I'm gonna walk a little bit fast today, guys, uh, just for the fact that uh, we have a long journey, so I do hope you enjoy uh, the Street View Tours. Asian Spice Garden, now this is new. Uh, this used to be an old old shoe store. Uh, I actually used to come shopping here, so now they have the, uh, that's Chinese garlic. I like Spanish garlic myself when I'm cooking, but Nakamoto, too hot for you? Really? Hey Welsh, how are you? I gotta walk in the shade because I can't see the chat very well. Look at all these amazing little places, you know, might be really good. I can see another lineup over here. <coughs> oh, this is, um, this is Egg, Egg Baby Cafe. So this, interesting. Looks fucking, oops, sorry, looks good. Very, very busy though. And then right next door to it, you have the um, this Tokyo Butchers, I think it's called. Yeah, to Tokyo Butchers. So two great restaurants, one for breakfast, one for dinner, right in the same area if you are staying in Weno. There's two great uh, th things that you could do right there. Uh, De Connor, hey, how are you? Um, I got your new address, so uh, next, the next mailing will be at your new address. The postcards I sent out uh, last week, your old address, so hopefully it gets forwarded to you. But say hi to Fran. Um, and I'm looking good, yep, but I'm going back into the hospital in five days uh, for my third chemo immunotherapy uh, infusion. And uh, just trying to stay as positive as I can, guys. Um, absolutely trying. So thank you all. And I, I just love the support. Apple Hotel. I am a big Apple Hotel fan. I think their beds are one of the more the uh, comfortable beds, but this is the Ueno Okachimachi Ekimae Minami. <laughs> Say that five times fast, people. They have takeaway beer over there. Yum. John, I'm in Chiba. Okay, yesterday you were in Shizuoka. What on earth are you doing? Okay, anything interesting? Nothing interesting in the vending machine? We got you, Drew. Thank you, Lori. Always appreciate you guys. Hope you're staying clear of smoking too. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I have uh, had a couple puffs, uh, but predominantly I'm not smoking at all, so. Um, I don't see the idea of you know, feeding, feeding, feeding it. But at the same time, you know, I'm a bit, a bit of a weak ass and, uh, you know, it is what it is, but try my hardest. Hey, Stanley. Hello. <laughs> that was for Stanley, ladies and gentlemen, if he's still here. <laughs> uh, heard there's a really good buffet above Tokyo Station. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, and today, ladies and gentlemen, it's 4:20. Okay, anyway. Oh, an anime cafe or a maid cafe. He's first in line. So your job today, ladies and gentlemen, and more for Pip, Pink Boy, Pink Pip, Boy, Boy, Pink Pip, something like that, is to count how many hellos do we get? Vending machines. More vending machines. Our next stop will be Akihabara, and uh, hopefully we can find, uh, we're, we are gonna hit the durian juice vending machine. Whether I get one or not, I don't know. 
Maybe we'll get something else. Okay. I haven't seen this big fruit juice boost up my uh, my blood sugars. Oh yeah, and a quick update also. So I, I wear a sensor on my arm for uh, being type two diabetic, and I check, you know, all the stats and everything. And they, my, my H1C was 9.7 in January, and they said my estimated H1C right now is 6.9. Uh, two, was it the, in March, um, they said my A1C was down to 8.9. So if it's actually, you know, true, like almost 6.9, that is huge in almost three months. Damn, eh? Now this is one store, I do not recommend you, you shop at. Um, it is cheap. Their meat products are horrible. Um, as an example, they have some nice flowers though. Twenty bucks for a box of tomatoes. Things aren't cheap anymore, eh, ladies and gentlemen? Six eighty for apples, pineapples four or five bucks, onions kind of cheap, but their meat is just—it it, it tastes like secondhand. I don't know how to explain it. Their chicken, their beef—it's all horrible. Weight loss always helps with A1C. <laughs> <coughs> This is. That's pretty cool that sign. That's kind of cool, eh? Let me get out of the, the glare. As you can see, me having uh, hydrating behind the scenes. That's kind of cool. I don't know what the store this is, but. Fortunately, I'm having to look for another job. Well, that sucks, uh, Mikey. Not half a hello? hitting a lot of anime so for all you anime lovers it may be pretty cool to uh, see some of this like blend dream park illustrators vending machine and gotcha wow that would be pretty cool it's closed but that would be pretty cool to see they got a vending machine and gotcha in there so i bet you ramsey silent and a few other people will be very interested in me do coming back maybe i'll do some filming there later Now we're hitting the outskirts of uh, Akihabara as we just keep walking south from Ueno. Ah, I just finished my coffee. Ah. Oh, I missed that. So I'm sorry, DeConnor. Where'd it go? Sorry about that. Thanks for the walks, Drew. Hi from Fran and I. Owe you a good letter and things. Working on it. Okay, thank you. Did you see, did you, De, De Connor, did you see the jersey I was wearing? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rothless's burger jersey. Made my freaking day. I've never been a gift kind of guy. And, you know, through all your generosity and kindness, uh, you know, people that send me stuff, you know, just simple snacks to, you know, to jerseys, to, microphones, you know, whatever. I, I'm truly, truly amazed at how amazing a community can be and how strong we can get, you know, as we slowly grow. People get used to my insanity. 
But hey, I love y'all. <coughs> Sozo box. So all these stores are relatively new. So, oh, hello. Damn, we got two and a half hellos already. Kind of cute looking though. Oh, hello again. Damn. We love you, Drew. Thank you, Spider Fresh. Appreciate it. Did you get, oh, Sarshine, how are you? Yeah, I got the QR codes. I just don't know how the hell, what to do with them. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Thank you so much. I should have downloaded them and uh, I could have put them on, on the live stream here. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, thank you. I think, I think making stickers and sticking them on, uh, on poles, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. But Starshine made a uh, QR code thing uh, for my YouTube channel and Linktree and all these things I can plaster around Tokyo. Thanks, bro. See, the problem, I think, is I'm walking. I want to be over that way. Oh, dang it, I'm gonna to have to walk around. Okay, jaywalk time. Oh, a bunch of foreigners. All university students or something. First time in Japan, Japan tour, Tokyo tour. Hey, why don't you sign up for Tokyo Drew Travels? Private tours. <laughs> I won't have you walking around like that. We'll be exploring amazing areas of interest. There we go, that's my entre entrepreneurial ship spiel. Hello again, Drew. Just stick them in shops. Don't stick on Kobans. <laughs> private Maccas tour. Well, Fang, I would give you a private Maccas tour, but you don't know how to use trains. <laughs> All right, so Akihabara Station. Right away, what, what are we at? Uh, 32 minutes. You know, we started in Ueno and we're hitting Akihabara now. So it's not a, not a far walk. Um, of course, on the other side of uh, Akihabara Station, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, Labi, one of the biggest uh, electronic uh, stores around. And it's actually, you can just kind of see it poking out right over there. But we are uh, this way today coming uh, in this way. I'm gonna go put a, a sticker on the Koban over here. <laughs> I'm not used to walking uh, backwards from some of the tours that I do, but that's a nice looking little Koban there. That's for sure. Koban, post office. Oh, I gotta go to the ATM. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, but I gotta go to the bank. We are going to, uh, and I'm not giving you my passcode either. No, thank you. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Do it that way. I would love a Drew guided tour. I think we all would. Oh, thank you. NKKM, I need one Japanese girl, please. Yeah, <laughs> don't we all? All right. Please select your desired transaction. Please insert your passport. I'll be with you in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. You know you're old when you gotta lift your glasses up to see, eh? Finish the Costa's coffee. All right. Let's hit up one of our crazy ass vending machines here and uh, show you a little bit of Akihabara as, as we're walking over here. Please make sure you smash that like button. Um, yeah, we got 106 people, so we should get 100 likes right away. It'd be nice, uh, a record, if we get it before. I think we've only done 100 likes within one hour uh, twice before, so. 
vending machines are everywhere. But our next uh, vending machine is just up over here. Now that is the main street over there, uh, which if you were to go you know, that way north, uh, that would take you, of course, into the Ueno uh, area. We just happen to walk down some of the side streets. I think they have Subway in here. Maybe Subway is kind of up over there. I gotta find some of these back alleyways that uh, don't get hit by cars. So I think, amazing, look at that, an eel shop. If anybody likes charbroiled eel. There's another ramen shop along the way here. It looks busy already, wow. That's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, good morning. Is Karen Wolf here? Okay, I'll, I'll do it again, ladies and gentlemen. I have to. I have to. Hold on one sec. Let's find a ledge. Let's find a ledge. <clears throat> pachinko. All right, Mindy's mom. Your pachinko is right here. Right here. Smash those emojis. Do it. Do it. Vending machines are everywhere. Oh, Mountain Dew. Yeah. Mountain Dew, baby. Am I lost? All right, here we go. So we're gonna gash upon it for a minute. And uh, just cause Karen is here, look at the wall. I'm joking. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're just new to the channel or just arriving today, yeah. Right? Right? I'd wear it. Karen, thank you so much. I, I wore it earlier, but it's way too hot to be wearing today a black jersey. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your generosity. Mwah. Seriously, I had to bring it with me. But it's too hot to wear. But thank you so much. And Corey in the chat is also a Steelers fan. So thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. Amazing, amazing. Oh. Mwah. That's all I can do. Is it hot there? Here in Paris, the weather is cool. It's 26 degrees Celsius here today. So, All right. I think I went too far, but I'll check one more street up here. Or maybe it is this alleyway up here. <sighs> it's, a it's a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely great. Enjoy, kiddo. So glad to do it for you. Well, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. <coughs> now, of course, we've come to this alleyway before with the vending machines. You'll recognize it. Well, today, we might actually purchase something and send it to somebody. I don't know who, but you never know. So. All right. So the down here, again, more vending machines. You'll find a lot of places in Tokyo or anywhere in Japan will have rows upon rows of vending machines. That's actually the recycle right there. Tokyo Drew sticker needs to go there. That's for sure. I'll have to send you a real football jersey. Um, yeah, no, I got the real football jersey from uh, Karen. So thank you, Cool Roddy. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about real football because I have it in my bag. <laughs> okay. Now here are your severely otaku style vending machines a pokey car a pokemon vending machine lottery winning prize one special card constellations five normal cards one piece card game could you imagine if some amazing expensive pokemon card was in here and i got lucky to get it also if you want to get one of your favorite uh, girls we all know who these are of course Next to it, again, are the One Piece, the Duel Masters card game. So a lot of you are probably not into stuff like this, but that's okay. Then you have more Pokemon cards. And then boom, ladies and gentlemen, we, I, they're like uh, figurine kind of style things, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, One Piece. 
Are they all one piece? No vibration stars. One piece, one piece. This one is, uh, I don't know that one. But yeah, you know, it does get expensive. Then you get your favorite girls again, your um, little figurine here things. I have no idea. World collectible figure? No idea. Oh, that's creepy. Right there. I like that. That looks kind of kinky. <laughs> I was unpacking some boxes and I came across 20 plus hollow regular Pokemon cards that belonged to Josh from 1996. Okay, I'll take those. <laughs> and then you have your stupid uh, thing. 20 bucks, 10 bucks. Well, 10 bucks and anime related figurine items. Maybe we'll do this one. Oh, no, wait. Does that say Ichimon or uh, you can change one in the store? Oh, if you have that. So looks like these ones are uh, 10 bucks here, 20 bucks here. And you have a chance to win, I guess, some of these things here. But I'll probably win nothing. This one is $30. Wow. You got some old school gas upon and as you turn around, we have more drinks, more vending machines. And look at that. Today is Cassie Peter's birthday, son. Well, happy birthday, Cassie. Is she in the chat? So, all right, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna splurge with 10 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's see what we get. Now, I kinda wanna do this uh, Oh, winning a prize about one in eight. So look at that, one, one in eight. Super lottery, lotters vending machine, capsule, miniature figures. The number of products is increasing. As a small consolation prize, a small goods related to the title will come out. Well, the sad part is, is we're gonna hit the King's vending machine too. So let's, uh, let's try. Um, okay, number one. I want to see in the chat here. Do you want me to go do the first one, second one, or third one? Um, so go like one, and then they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. So one, 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 two, one, three, so on and so forth, or two, two, one, two, three, two, four, or three, one, three, two, three, three, so on and so forth. Let's see in the chat how you guys will do and uh, instruct me on what to get here. Yesterday I turned 68, oh my God. Really Tyree, you're that old? I would have guessed you for like 29. <laughs> I'm looking for a good ledge here, but I can't find nothing. So I'm gonna put you guys on the ground for a minute and uh, <laughs> we'll figure that out after that. <laughs> All right, um, hi me Versace or whatever your name is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and Nick R is here, two, one, three, five, three, six, three, 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 three. Well, I see two three threes, so I think I'm gonna go with that, unless mum tells me otherwise. I'm joking. I see three three again, so, okay, we're gonna do three three. So let me uh, fix the camera here for a sec. And uh, we're going in. Now, I don't know if you guys can see me very well here, but, uh, all right, got our 10 bucks in. I hope that's it, 10 bucks. And we're gonna hit three three. And we got something useless. Something useless as always. But hey, that's the fun of it, right? Is what useless thing can we get? So it looks like I got 10 bucks. 10 bucks for this little box. We'll figure it out once I find another ledge. Um, what I got, I guess. Oh, I found a kind of a ledge right here. So, all right. Let's uh, put the camera down and figure out what I got here. So. Uh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, ladies and gentlemen, but oh, that's kind of cool. No, that's not worth 10 bucks, but check that out. Some of you guys actually might like that. Hmm. All right, that was a waste of 10 bucks. King's vending machine is next, where we're gonna waste even more money today. I'll send that off to one of my Patreon members. Okay. We're gonna cross the street here. We're gonna get into the back area of uh, Akihabara. We got uh, three or four more vending machines to hit up. Of course, as we come out of the um, 
the alleyway. They, you do have Carl Jr. right here. I personally don't like Carl's Jr. that much, but amazing shops. It gives, these shops give me a nightmare because I spent uh, last year some time with uh, Bill S. and the boys uh, shopping and they spend hours in each store. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Thanks for chiming in, Leone. Yeah, it's probably about, f I, I don't think three bucks. I would say in the stores, you're probably looking at 4 dollars five bucks. Akiba, Akihabara. Some of the greatest electronic places um, in Japan is this one area here. Now, a lot of it's resale, a lot of it's junk, a lot of it's, you know, all kinds of unique things, but uh, you never know what you're gonna get. Except for vending machines. Oh, we found the Costa's coffee again. The orange juice machine. Freshly squeezed orange juice. We did that, I think, in Weno. They have one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go down this way. I never come down this street. I always go to the other main street. I didn't know there was a family mart down here. <laughs> go figure. Little keyboards, keyboard for women, keyboard for men, black, white, the way I see it. It's actually not a bad looking store. It's got a few house, household things, masks, toys. Hey, it's Ramsey Silent on a, oh, it's a panda, never mind. <laughs> oh. If you smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, just drew it, be done with it. Oh, curry shop here. You got cutlet curry, 930 yen, uh, fried chicken curry, all kinds of different curries here. looks pretty good. Oh, look at, the, look at the, almost like the Kanazawa black curry. You get all kinds of different spices. That's pretty good. <coughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I can't wait for you to get here, DeConnor. You get a personal tour with Drew. And Mindy's mom, wherever you want to go when you get your ass over here, oh, you, you and Knight that. Riders gal, of course, you'll be all getting personal tours from me. See, again, more vending machines everywhere. But these are so popular, obviously. They're, they're filled with all the popular drinks. Whoa, big lineup for lunch. Now, if you do watch me, you do come to Tokyo and you want to know exactly where the durian vending machine is, well, that's where we're headed next, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I've actually had a few people say, oh, Drew, I went to that vending machine. By all means, you got to try the juice. I have a slow cooker full of chicken thigh curry bubbling away at home. Awesome. Pachinko Minchikatsu. Okay, this taxi is like, seriously. Oh, not a taxi. Who the hell drives through these streets? PC shops. Like, look how cheap some of these things are. Now, they're not the greatest, of course, but if you need a PC real quick, as low as 300 bucks up to seven, eight, nine hundred. This is on there. Mandrake already has a lineup. Look at these people, they're all coming to sell their stuff, I think. That's, uh, it's very popular here. Like, you see that guy, he's got two bags. They're all here to sell their anime things. Probably at a fraction of the cost that they bought them, of course. Love it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming into the old man attack zone. <laughs> if some of you remember. Hey, we must have hit 100 likes. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Ram. Appreciate that, brother. Where are you, old man? Where are you? Make yourself known. 
I don't know if you got these or what kind of girls they are, but oh, have they changed it? Ladies and gentlemen, they've taken it away. I think they've taken, no, they haven't. No, it's right here. I thought they changed, they changed it, but you got the melon, the durian, and the watermelon, along with the peach, and it looks like the mango. Uh, I remember Gretchen, one of our members, uh, years ago made me try this, but that was just absolutely horrible. All right, do we want melon? Do you want to do the durian juice, ladies and gentlemen? Do you want to see me suffer? Watermelon, peach, or mango? Let me know in the chat. Money is going in. Well, thank you, Jimmy here. Just booked our tickets for August 8th to August 13th. What would you suggest for a hotel? We are flying Breeze Airlines. I have no idea about Breeze Airlines. Thank you again for your support. Um, I will talk about that in a minute. Peach, 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 peach. Okay, so I don't have to do the durian. Nobody's gonna make me do the durian. Thank God. We've done the durian a few times, right? 230 yen. I've never tried the peach. Looks like peach is uh, the most popular in the chat. So, all right. And the peach is here. Now, of course, they, the interesting thing is they actually glass bottles, which is just kind of unheard of, which is weird. Um, I used to want to go over to my, uh, my ledge over there, but they've taken it away. So I have to come over to the post box ledge here. Again, you have a lot of anime uh, stores each and every way. Hello. Yeah, and if you're not used to it, uh, this is Maid Cafe Lady area. And uh, well, let's just uh, turn our, just kind of stand on the street. She's going up to, I think, May Dreaming it is. And uh, check it out. So this here is uh, the peach. Thank you guys for not making me do the, uh, the durian. I've done it a few times. It's not that bad. It's doable. Um, I remember I fed it to uh, Bill S and the boys. Frank, I think, liked it, but Bill S was like, oh my God, that's horrible. Cheers. This is carbonated. Oh, very strong fake peach taste. Oh, it's kind of horrible, actually. Mm. Jason in Michigan, how are you? Make sure you got, hey Tammy, how are you? Thank you for being here. It's not that bad, but it's, I, I like something a bit softer. I think because it's carbonated. Mm. All right, we'll have to save that for later. Give me a sec while I put this away. And let's, next stop is uh, the King's Bending Treasure Machine. We're gonna go spend a, another $10, but we're gonna show you where it is. And uh, have fun hitting up some of these vending machines today. So as you come uh, through, the main road of course is over that way. And uh, as you come down here, the first thing you wanna know of course, we've seen before, obviously is the super potato, which is very popular. There's a lot of stores like super potato now in Akihabara, so it's not as needed, um, but that is an iconic uh, place to visit, of course. I like it, last time I was there, I forget who I was there with, but. It is 420. So we saw that maid going in and uh, well, I thought that May Dreaming was here. Where is it? Over there somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right up over there. You can see our handsome uh, security, I mean uh, police officers. <laughs> you can see up in the top right corner there, uh, the maid standing on the balcony trying to get everybody to, uh, to come. <laughs> This is the vending machine episode you've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, she's cute. Oh. So again, you can see up there, the, the maid is up there. They're, they're all gonna turn around when we're pointing the cameras. 
So, I don't know, I, I, if they didn't turn around, I'd probably give them some business. Do a video, but I understand that, you know, if you get your picture taken with them, you know, yada, 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 they want to charge money and stuff, but how create better business, you know? All right, so as we're coming along here, of course, I want to check out some of these, uh, some of these stores. You never know what you're going to find along the way here. Dude, like, really? As soon as I move, he'll move, so I'll move this way. Some cheap headphones, 990 yen. Oh, I actually need to get one of these. It's 10 bucks, it looks like. I need something for my laptop. Oh, it looks like that, never mind. Oh, the outlet thing is something I need. Oh no, it's got a big, big ass cord. I don't want that at all. 1250 yen, more expensive than the other thing, for Christ's sakes. But yeah, as we come along, Akihabara Station is just down over there. King's vending machine, right here. Uh, right in front of the, hello. Right in front of the, um, the KFC. <laughs> I was trying to do a shorts video on this the other day and then the thing was, wasn't even going. So what you want to do though, is you want to check to make sure like number two is sold out. Can't really see very well what is lit up and what's not, but we've done this before. Now, supposedly you can win a Nintendo switch or a camera, this, that. Now, I think out of the hundred slots that they may have, you might have one thing going for you. But ladies and gentlemen, why not spend another useless 10 bucks? Hey, Jackie, hello, how are you? And uh, show you what happens, I guess. Um, I have to send all this stuff to my Patreon members though. <laughs> so let me uh, again put you on the ground. There is no, is that better? Uh, I'm gonna take my picture phone with me. Now, as I'm looking here, uh, they do have buttons one, two, three, four, five, five, one to 20. So let me know in the chat which, uh, I just don't want people knocking my camera over. Which number I should pick? If you super chat, I will uh, pick that number. One to 20. So we got 18, 18, 16, 15, 17, 20, 14, 10. Really star shine, 33. <laughs> 15, 14. Kumo 18, Mom 18, 18 looks pretty popular, Karen Wolf 8, well you know what, this video not only is about vending machines but it's about Karen Wolf. No. <laughs> Since Karen Wolf gave me a number and she's the one that uh, gave me the, the uh, jersey, thank you again, I will pick number 8. So again we're going to put our $10 in and we're just going to pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, we got something. We got something. Uh, of course, it's going to be one of these boxes here. So I'm just going to sit down here and uh, open it up. Seven, like the shirt. I, I, I never thought about that either. And uh, yeah, you know what, Karen? Come on down to Vegas in August. We'll have a real good time. Uh, for all of you, I, I'm going to mention it every live stream now, but uh, dates are confirmed the Las Vegas meetup, uh, August 9, 10, and 11. Um, August 9th uh, will be more of a meetup um, in the Horseshoe. Uh, it's, I'm very partial to the lounge there, uh, as most of you will know, to meet up for drinks and uh, maybe a group slot pull, uh, if you're in town. Um, August 10th on Saturday, we'll be having a lunch um, at Grimaldi's in the Palazzo or the Venetian. Um, my two amazing moderators, Knight Riders Gal and Mindy's mom, will be helping me uh, with some of the uh, prep for all of this. So hopefully we can get a reservation, probably for, you know, who knows, 20, 30 people. Please let me know if you are coming <coughs> via email so that I can reserve it. We're also thinking of going either on the Saturday night or Sunday uh, to go see Mystere um, with Ryan Schneider, uh, Ryan's acrobat, if you follow him. He also, um, he's just got a job as the trapeze, one of the trapeze artists in Mystere. It's an old show over at Treasure Island. Um, I can get, 
I'll tell you the details if you're coming, but uh, tickets will be slashed. Um, and then we can also do a backstage tour uh, up to, I think, eight people. Um, and I think I already have the eight people. Um, I'm thinking already Ramsey Silent, Mindy's mom, Night Rider's gal, Papa Mike, me, Hiromi. Oh yeah, we don't want to leave Hiromi in the hotel now, do we? And uh, also I got to think about Carmen and Reed. But I think maybe we can um, have up to 10 people for the backstage. Uh, I'm not sure. I got to find I'm still talking with Ryan about it. But uh, that would be pretty cool. So, all right, guys. Hey, Lynn Singer, how are you? Um, I got to open this thing. They tape it like crazy, so it's kind of hard to open. But uh, again, these vending machines are everywhere. Are you still, are you still friends with Eric Surf Six? Yeah, I just haven't talked to him in a while, um, in a long while. All right. So this is what ten bucks got us. I think it's better uh, than the other thing. But uh, first off the hell is this it's a little pouch he's got the zipper Ooh. strawberry it says strawberry cookie is this part of like uh, some cookie company or something but yeah this is gonna have to go to one of the girls I think and uh, what the hell it's a Snoopy Snoopy, which, who, you know, guys, I think Snoopy is cool. Like a little towel. In a, uh, this is a bone shaped, a plastic bone holder, and it's got like a little towel inside. So that's not bad. For 10 bucks, it's better than those Pokemon cards. That's for sure. So, yeah, I always, uh, somebody, <coughs> if you're a Patreon member, you will probably have one of these in your monthly packages. Because <laughs> Hiromi is making me clean out my gar garbage later. Sweet, the most I ever watched someone win was 125,000. Oh, cool. So yeah, let me know uh, via email uh, when you're coming, uh, so on and so forth, and that's Las Vegas. I will be in Vancouver for a few days before that, so. All right, let's uh, turn it around. And we're gonna head off to our next vending machine as we are walking. I still haven't tried this place yet. One day I will, the Mountain of Beef. Thank you all. I do. Hey, Auntie Mambo, how are you? I do hope you're all doing well. And I appreciate you uh, being here. Snoopy, I have my second video. Snoopy, oh, there goes those stupid go-karts. There's vending machines everywhere. Love it, love it. So across the street is going to be uh, Akihabara Station. Obviously, you can see the train coming through. There's those go-karts. Right over there. Horrible. Horrible, I tell you. Look at all the tourists here. These are all tourists. Probably have a hard morning shopping already. <laughs> so we are heading still south. <laughs> now the one vending machine I do want to show you is in the adult store, but yeah, I don't really need any uh, used panties vending machine. <laughs> is that a ninja? No, not a ninja. The nuisance, well, that's a nice car right there though. The nuisance of the go-karts as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the damn big giggle noise. And there they go. Got three people. Go figure, it's always foreigners, eh? I don't think anybody's stupid enough as a local to ride those things anyways. Huh. Okay. I forgot about the light. Duh.
Thank you, uh, Mom, for answering for me. Now, there is a vending machine, sandwich vending machine, which is actually a part of this famous uh, building over here. But we're going to go over to the haunted uh, vending machines and uh, see if there's anything yucky that we can get over there or useless or maybe a surprise thing. But uh, yeah, this is all about vending machines on a bit of a walk as we walk uh, between Weno and Tokyo Station. Always amazing. Like that's a, that's pretty classic view right there. The train going by. I wish the cars weren't in the way, but that is Akihabara, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty damn cool, eh? Nice to see foreigners. And March actually was a record month. Uh, over three million uh, tourists we had uh, in March, I think. Three point seven. Of course, we always have to point things, unique things out that uh, Forsyth would like. The river runs through it. It's pretty cool though to see the backs of the buildings. <sighs> now that vending machine that I was talking about is across the street there. Um, it's uh, just a drink vending machine and a uh, tonkatsu sandwich basically a uh, vending machine. The sad part is, is I heard that this store is closing or this building is closing down, which is sad. There also looks like they're building a new one here. They still, have this, they still have the sign here, so they're still open. But as you come here, you're coming away from Akihabara heading south. We hit up the crazy ass. I call it the haunted vending machine because you never know who's living upstairs and yes, Mindy's mom would agree that this place is frickin' haunted! So, I don't plan on using condoms, don't need them. Condom vending machine, ladies and gentlemen. That is so old. Some of this stuff, you don't even know how long it's been inside here. So again, just a regular vending machine over there. And we've, you know, I've been here five or six times. A uh, few people have. Now, they do have mystery boxes up here. Looks like this one is in support, $11, in support of the Taiwan earthquake. They do have messages on the boxes. Is that like, I think those are muffins or something. Um, no hide beetles. Odin, Nectar, they do have different curries here. I did try one before, but I don't see them right now. All these mystery boxes though, as we are looking around here. I'm looking for that can of snails too, or the bear curry, something along those lines. We've got a bunch of foreigners here now. So again, mystery boxes everywhere, all the mystery boxes. They don't have the seal curry anymore, the, the bear curry. I just got bombarded by a whole shitload of foreigners. Again, more mystery boxes here. Oh, we need Tokyo Drew branded condoms with QR codes on them. <laughs> you, can, you can actually go inside here. I'm not going to fit. But again, more vending machines back here. And then behind the Omikuji vending machine. So you do have some pretty haunted and crazy ass looking uh, things here. Well, that's new. The milk, I think that's straight tea. And yes, it's haunted because those stairs lead to nowhere. Is there somebody up there? I have no idea. It's haunted, ladies and gentlemen. It's haunted. Oh, they got the, uh, some sort of a muffin in a can. Do you have crackers here? I don't know why you would want to get a ball. <laughs> you can get that for $5.99 in the store, that gold blend Nescafe coffee, instant coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. So I don't know where all these people came from just now. Wow, there's so many people here. 
I have no idea where they all came from. That was all crazy. Are you guys all one big group? Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. I'm sorry? We're studying abroad in Japan. Oh, okay. My, my major is Japanese. Oh, nice, nice, nice. No, I'm just wondering why all of a sudden all these people just came to this area just now, so. Are you, like, vlogging? I'm live streaming on YouTube right now. So I'm just like, all of a sudden, where did all these foreigners come from? What's your channel? Uh, I'm Tokyo Drew. Tokyo Drew? Yeah. All right, check it out. I do live streaming all the time, so. Small channel, only like 12,000 subscribers, so sorry. <laughs> so, all right, let me get back. So again, um, I don't see any of the, uh, the seal curries or you know, anything like that. So I'm just wondering what to uh, get. I would rather get a bug and leave it to find the balls. I followed the white gu the guy with the camera. <laughs> Look at all those foreigners. I know, right? So I am thirsty again, so I do need to get something else to drink. And I know I'm going to die, but this is my favorite is the nectar here. Ah, maybe I'll get it. Uh, I don't want to screw up my glucose. Coffee time, ladies and gentlemen. So it is vending machine coffee time. And I don't have a Ah, whoa, did I lose? No, okay, I didn't lose money. Whew. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna lose money. Ah, I'm just gonna get, oh, that black coffee is like, I can get those for a dollar. No, we're not getting that. We're gonna move on. The, the problem is like, sometimes these are so expensive. So let's see if we can find $1.20. Quality, quality coffee, a dollar ten. All right, so let's try this one here. So again, a dollar ten, and it's number nine. So you just come over, press the nine. Um, hello. And here it comes. It's gonna push it in. Push it. Push it real good. Dun, 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 and we'll come in now. It's open. And that's a chore just to get a coffee. My God. An absolute chore just to get a coffee here. So I need to uh, down this coffee real quick and continue on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to see a bunch of people here. They're with. Uh, Studying studying Japanese, so as as their majors, that's pretty good because uh, they're way ahead of me, and I've been here 17, nine, actually 19 years, ladies and gentlemen, in June. I always say 17 years. <sighs> oh, a little bit of sweetness. No Lin, hundred dollar cup of coffee is horrible. So, all right. Uh, we're gonna continue on here, and uh, what? hopefully they're all enjoying themselves. Again, as we are walking along, um, you do have the bugs. You have all these, you know, the popcorn is actually fresh from what I hear, and <laughs> there's just not enough condom vending machines in this area. <laughs> I do see another Apple Hotel as we're walking south. More vending machines, which I'm going to dump my can in here now. Oh, they got enough more. See, this cost of coffee is 170 yen. It's a lot cheaper by 20 yen. Oh, hello, Lily Cottage. Lily Cottage. They're on YouTube? Hmm. So you don't mind if I come live stream you? <laughs> oh, what a weird looking car. Huh. Oh, 24 security. And then, yeah, we just follow the train tracks all the way. Next stop would be uh, the Conda, I believe, area. <laughs> At least I think so. But you know me, I always get lost in Tokyo. 
And yeah, I'm gonna jaywalk. Why? Because I can. I shouldn't have done this. I'm scared of big trucks. Oh, I didn't see the crosswalk. Duh, right over there. Oh, he stopped. Almost cut me off. All right, let's stick to, I guess, this side. Oh, I see some, I see a British flag right up here. What is that? Fucano, Fucano? I have no idea what that says. <laughs> oh, Fucano. But they have British, a British sign up there. So it looks like a, a tailor of some sort. But I saw the British flag up there. So I thought it might be something British, but it looks like a, uh, a tailor. Pretty cool. Ramen shop. Anyway, we go. Really carrying both knees? Oh, I think you said that in your email. <laughs> I wouldn't be Tokyo Drew if I didn't jaywalk it, Andrew Lubar. And the Rita Express, I think? No. No, that's uh, Limited Express out to Yamanashi, maybe? I think so. Can somebody Google how many vending machines per person in Japan? It's like one vending machine for six people or 30 people. Oh wow, more vending machines. Always looking, because you never know what you're gonna find. I've never seen that. Oh, horrible cola, don't drink that. Coffee selection, not bad, a little bit of matcha tea, a couple of energy drinks, things like that. Japan has more than 5 million vending machines. That's one vending machine for every 23 people. Isn't that crazy, guys? Thank you, Gabe, for uh, Googling that. Thank you, Mindy's mom, for Googling it. Nothing special as I was looking over there, so we're just keeping on heading towards Kanda here, ladies and gentlemen. 125 people in the chat. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate all you be hanging out here uh, as we're walking back streets and uh, hopefully keeping you entertained and uh, entertaining yourselves uh, in the uh, chat. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. I'm blessed. I really am. As we look for interesting things, bake my day. Now this looks closed. Oh, Koi, so the ambulance is there helping uh, Jichan. Oh. I just saw this though, coffee and bakery candy, bake my day. Obviously it's closed because the vending machine is in front and the shutter doesn't look like it's opened up forever. But again, like just finding these hidden gems is always amazing. Too bad it wasn't open though. That is the uh, Chuo line as we are making our way down to uh, Kanda. with more vending machines coming up. Has anybody seen Looky Lou in the chat at all today? I'm supposed to meet her at two o'clock, so that's, I got two hours, so I'm good. Backyard Tokyo. Not sure what that is.
for our stay in Vancouver, we're staying three nights. Looking for hotels in Vancouver? Oh my God. $300 a night. It's absolutely ridiculous, redonkulous of the Nesses staying in a hotel Ness for 300 Ness dollars a month, I mean a day. Horrible. I'm not used to paying hotel prices, you know, being a Hilton member, but. Hello, mommy. Pizza Hut. I love the little, can you imagine Drew bombing around on those Pizza Hut things? I'd crash for sure. And now we are heading into the Conda area. So it's not too much of a, 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 a long walk. About an hour, obviously, hour and 20 to get the Conda here. But if you're just to walk straight, probably half an hour. I'm going to go under and check out the other side of uh, Conda. We have tried Airbnbs, but we want to be downtown Vancouver. So it's uh, pretty expensive down there. Okay, thank you, Lily. I always make up words. Well, this is a new, this is a brand off. Looks very nice. You can sell all your recycle, recyclable bags, your LV bags that your ex-boyfriends bought you, you know, things like that. This is pretty cool. All these uh, little ramen shops along the way. QB house, don't need a haircut. Discount ticket shops, lottery booth. We'll hit another one later. Got to check our ticket that we uh, that we won on yesterday. And right into Conda Station here. Conda Station has so many exits, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll uh, kind of come over to the other side of the train tracks here. Or more creepy statues. No idea why. Koban. It's the Koban. The Koban Koban. Hello. And then we come over. This is inside of Conda Station, but it's coming on to this side here. We've been here before. Again, some amazing uh, little restaurants you might want to check out. A lot of meat places. You got the kebab place uh, off to the left here. You know me and kebabs, got to be in the mood. Hamburger steak. I don't like hamburger steak because they don't cook it enough for me personally, but that's okay. Hey, Malcolm. And the last time I was here, I actually showed this place too. This is the uh, RC Gate British Pub. Obviously way better than the hub. Oh, whiskey. I miss my whiskey. I haven't had a whiskey since January. Oh, I miss it so much. Got Burger King up here. Now, I know we had a discussion about Burger King a couple of live streams ago, I think it was. Where a lot of people don't like Burger King. Well, that's when I was in Ikebukuro. And the stream cut out on me and I deleted it. I got the Buddy Burgers, chicken nuggets I would never have here. I'd rather go to this place here, have a, nice, have a good old uh, steak. Protein is always good. Seven Eleven. Oh, they got Hoshino coffee up there. 
So more coffee shops for all you coffee lovers out there. And we're actually still walking by. This is the uh, south entrance of Conda Station, right by the Starbucks here. Gotta hate the blinking. Inside here, you got Gogo -Go Curry in the basement. Uh, you got uh, the, the Gudon place along the way. And you just keep walking. There's all so many side streets to explore every which way. I'm gonna take a left, see what's down here. I don't usually come on this side. Burger King always disappoints. Jackie Hero, by the way, I've been enjoying some of your short little uh, Florida videos. I saw you posted one yesterday, well, my time yesterday anyways. Glad you had a, a good trip. Sorry you got stuck in that snowstorm. <laughs> I'm still laughing, sorry. <coughs> so I've never come down this way, I don't think. Or maybe I have, I just don't remember. Usually I like to go down here, because that building right there, built underneath the train tracks, the wood, it looks awesome. Absolutely awesome that way. I'll walk on the street here. It is getting hot out, ladies and gentlemen, my God. Beer, wine, cheese, food. Well, they're pretty uh, yeah, telling us exactly what you have. That's pretty cool, having a, an alleyway of uh, more izakayas. Oh, I see a girls bar down there too. I know Devilcraft Pizza is in the area. I just don't know exactly where it is anymore. Or, I remember it used to be on a building like Right here and then upstairs, that's where Ryan Schneider and I... Oh, more vending machines. Look at this. Oh, it's just drink vending machines. But they do have my favorite coffees. They're only a buck forty. That's not bad. So maybe it's down this street. I don't remember which way it is, ladies and gentlemen, but... Devilcraft Pizza is, I believe, still here. And again, looking along the station here. I think I went for a massage somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly where though. I think it was like kind of up one of these places along here. But yeah, I always forget. Oh, I remember this here. We passed by here uh, last year. This is the ramen war. Probably a great place to have ramen. That is awesome. I know, a massage. -y. I did. I just don't remember. I don't think it's on that street over there, but uh, let me zigzag back over. Conda Station Hotel called The Hideout. Cafe and Bar. Not bad. I got those Zymos. Looks like we have some sort of internet cafe hidden upstairs there. Yakiniku Wolf. Arr! Yeah, no idea. We are still walking south. We're just zigzagging along. Oh, I found it. Devilcraft Pizza right on the corner here. Not open, but I actually enjoyed making a video with Ryan Schneider uh, at this Devilcraft Pizza probably five years ago now. If you've never had Devilcraft Pizza, check it out. Uh, Chicago deep dish style pizzas, and uh, at least some of them were. The one we had was, it was heavy. Like one pizza I couldn't even finish between the two of us. Absolutely insane. Detour along the way here. So there's always a thing that I've been learning about pizza and I still don't get it, okay? You Americans out there, you Americans out there. Now, ham and pineapple pizza, amazing. A Canadian invention from what I'm told. At least I heard, I thought it'd be Hawaiian. That's why they call it Hawaiian. I thought it'd be made in Hawaii. But you guys have these Chicago style, New York style, Detroit style pizzas 
What is your favorite style pizza where you're from? Or do you like just regular kind of pizza like pepperoni and cheese or something like that? Let me know uh, for the Americans what you prefer. New York, Detroit, or Chicago. I guess those are the three that I keep hearing uh, about. So I would look forward to reading your comments. Detroit style. Hidden vending machines back there. Extra welt. So that means they beat you until you get welts. Oh, and a massage. We deep fry pizza here. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. <laughs> coffee Saito over there. Two of these coffee places are closed. New York. We get white pizza with onions and pineapple. Sounds weird, but it's so good. I like you, Karen. If you have pineapple in your pizza, I like you. Whoa, more vending machines. Have I hit this vending machine place before? I'm not sure. This looks familiar. Paul oh, Chauvin Gabriel, thank you. I appreciate it, brother. A 543. Now that's cool. 1234, 3456, 543. Awesome. Looks like it's all normal. Yeah, I don't see anything special in any of these vending machines to drink. But I will say one thing, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bomb. Kelpie soda, amazing. It actually is really good. High in sugar, of course, but can't go wrong with that. We like New York pizza with lots of cheese. Jim and Harriet. Man, I can't wait to see you, Jim and Harriet. That's going to be awesome. Um, now, somebody was talking, I think it was Jim and Harry or whoever, <coughs> talking about hotels to stay at. Now, I kind of partial, to be honest. Um, if you are going to stay in a hotel, you got to pay resort fees. Um, and resort fees are expensive as hell, but try to find the cheapest uh, thing on the strip. Like, like the Flamingo, it's iconic. Um, might be worth staying at. Uh, Harris, the Link, um, any of those central strip hotels might do you good. Um, I think because of the size of Flamingo, I know Ramsey Silent has stayed there. Um, you might be able to uh, book rooms uh, kind of on the cheap. But I'm staying at the uh, at the Alara, which is uh, part of the Hilton. Uh, group. Um, it's kind of uh, uh, right behind Planet Hollywood. But yeah, I think, you know, if you want to say, say stay center strip, um, Flamingo, the Link, Harrah's, um, Bali's or the Horseshoe, those are pretty good uh, places. The resort fees are going to kill you just like it kills everybody, but I guess that's my suggestion. Hopefully uh, you can take that in stride. Vegas, baby, can't wait. Oh, it'll be my last trip. Oh, I remember where I am. This big ass building here. This is something to do with the Bank of Japan or something, I think. Vin, if you're here, let me uh, know. I think this is something to do with the Bank of Japan. If I remember last time correctly, let me know. Why so many recycling in that row? Not, not, no idea why. Um, somebody's saying some of it would be cheaper to, to go in as a group, just pool the money. In the chat. Chicago style. Oh, post pictures in Discord. That's true. But this building is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hang in there.
Some people now. But that's okay. You do have uh, all the department stores off to the side here, Mitsukoshi and some. Uh, oh, the Kinza is over there. That's a great Japanese restaurant over there. <coughs> yeah, see? Drop people. There's a money museum. Look at those doors. That is so cool. Damn. Is Vinny not here? Look at the architecture, look at these columns. I feel like I'm not in Tokyo anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that up there. Hold on. That is so cool. I never, I've never noticed that. That looks pretty damn cool up there. Damn. I even love the, the old brick here. Look at those big ass wrought iron bars on the windows. You ain't be breaking in or breaking out of that place. Damn. Question for you, Drew. Why is your last trip to Vegas? I think you told us weeks ago, but I must have forgotten. <laughs> what's the old, what's the old monocle called? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've said this, uh, oh, Mitsukoshi. Um, yeah, this is the Bank of Japan here. Yeah, it is the Bank of Japan. You know why I know? Because it says Bank of Japan right there. So we are, where are we? I guess we're on the corner down here. This is the old building, the new building, the annex building, which I guess would be over there. Um, hi, Bank of Japan. I just want to make a request today, uh, since I'm standing in front of you. Can you um, make the, gen, the yen stronger so that I don't have to pay an arm and a leg to exchange my money into American in the next couple of months? Um, when I take $100, I only get $50 or $60 American. Um, I feel like I'm getting ripped off. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, if uh, you're wondering why, um, it is called the Farewell Tour, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be my last meetup and uh, maybe my last time going to Las Vegas. Um, I don't go to Vegas to gamble so, so much. Um, I do for the experience. Every time I go to Las Vegas, I find something new. Uh, of course, my friends, uh, Reed and Carmen, live there. And, you know, Reed always introduces me to something amazing. Um, this year, of course, I'm going to go see Miss Steer uh, because our friend Ryan Schneider is one of the trapeze artists. But uh, it is the final farewell tour, ladies and gentlemen, due to my health. Obviously, we all know, um, you know, I am fighting stage four uh, lung cancer, of course. And if you want to help out, check out my donor box uh, link. Everything helps, every little penny. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, that'll be the last meetup uh, that I do in Las Vegas. That's why I'm calling it the farewell tour. And oh, that's a crazy looking sculpture right there. Huh. I think I've lost my way, ladies and gentlemen, from, from yapping. So we got to get back on track somehow. I want to go right, but I'm going to keep going the straight way. I see all these bridges. Going over all these bridges in Nihonbashi area as we are hitting up is pretty cool too. No worries, Andrew Lubar. <laughs> you think you have a bad memory? I can't even remember what I did five minutes ago. Look at the beautiful azaleas, I think. Some other flowers here. A couple hidden vending machines off to the side there, but these flowers look nice. And then right in front of a Yakiniku restaurant. That's nice right there. Right there. That is nice. 
She was covering her face. And now she's walking away from me. Bye bye, lady. Kyle in the house? Just got up from a nap. Awesome, dude. Well, Kyle, now I can embarrass you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just to uh, give you a little bit of uh, intriguement and uh, hopefully, hopefully, some, uh, some of you will go help support. Uh, Kyle just got his t-shirt and I gotta blow it up because this is Kyle here. And, uh, oops, I almost, how do I? Okay, wait, do it again. No, there we go. That's Kyle with a Team Drew Cancer t-shirt. Thank you, Kyle, for your support. I really appreciate it. And of course, you can get those over in my store uh, description in the links below. Was she a gravure model? Probably, Stanley. I bet you. <laughs> no smoking. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, my. My receiver fell off again. Oh, lots of construction going on over there, damn. I'm gonna have to turn right, try and get back on track somehow. Oh, the big truck is coming. The big truck is coming, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea where I am. Yeah, weird. Your pick is still the best? Yeah, I just don't understand what the hell you're doing with your fingers, but... Thank you guys, really, no, seriously. I should have worn my cancer, my, my t-shirt today, but uh, it's black. Why do I make t-shirts that are black and it's hot in the summertime? Go freaking figure, people. Lexus. I think that's Tokyo Abashi Tower right there. Now there are a few um, vending machines in the Tokyo station, but it's actually in the paid area. Um, love to take you there, but obviously uh, we can't get inside. But I do want to find out if there are other vending machines in the area. Yeah, it, it's awesome guys. You know, um, thank you so much, honestly, for all your support, uh, whether you're supporting me through the t-shirt sales, um, through uh, making fundraisers, helping out on donor box, uh, everything is tremendously overwhelming. Thank you for those of you who have uh, helped support me. I uh, hope, we, you know, we were only, I think, 17% of our goal. No, some, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. We're, what is it? 45% of our goal or something? I, I can't remember exactly, but uh, let me figure it out here on a calculator. Um, divided by... We're at 43% of our goal, ladies and gentlemen. So I had to use a calculator to figure that one out. Duh. So thank you guys, really. It's helped out a lot. Tokyo Station, over there. Um, we were just here the other day, Tokyo Bashi Tower. You can see the train line over there. That's where Torch Tower is being built. But today we're gonna spend uh, a bit of time on this side. And we're going over to the Yayosu uh, side of uh, Tokyo Station. And yeah, if you press on my link, Nightbot just posted uh, link tree. That uh, will take you to where all my links are for everything that I do on social media. Go check it out, bookmark it. Now we've hit uh, Cement City area here. Now, as I said before, the Marinucci side of Tokyo Station, iconic. 
uh, Instagram worthy. I love this. I love it. The only reason I don't like the Ayusu side is because of the uh, little covering area that they have. It just looks stupid, in my opinion. Oh, another RC gate. We saw one at Conda. And we found one here, too. So I guess it is. I didn't even know about these places. Vegas Formo. I, hey, Mission Creek, by the way. Um, yeah, I should make everybody wear a... <coughs> now, I'm just wondering. Um, I will be designing a t-shirt, probably in white and in black, um, for the Las Vegas meetup. Um, for the Las Vegas meetup, I will keep the cost down as much as possible. Um, again, like I did last year, uh, whatever they charge me, I'll uh, add one dollar or something along those lines. Um, but I'm going to be making meetup t-shirts um, and hopefully everybody will uh, get one. We do it every year. Um, it was pretty awesome, so uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. I'm going to come up with a great design though. I'll probably do it in different colors instead of just black. Would you guys be, for those of you coming, I hope you'd be interested in getting one. It will start getting busy. This is the lobby. Could you imagine that being your job, having to speak into a microphone all day? No thanks. True cancer, my fingers do the math. I still don't get it, man. I get it, but I don't get it. So as we were walking here, you can now see the Ayusu side of Tokyo Station, that god-awful, looks like a wing out of a spaceship or something. <laughs> Personally, never liked it. Sakura Dori here. No, it has, doesn't have Sakura on it. But that'll lead you into some pretty awesome Nihonbashi uh, shopping back down in that way. I'm not crossing over, not until later on. Again, Daikokuya, they got an exchange. Oh, they do have exchange here. Uh, right now, the exchange, oh my God. 157, oh, no cameras. We buy 157, we sell. We sell 157, we buy 149. What a ripoff, damn. 157, so the exchange rate is 157. So what, somebody figure it out for me. A thousand Japanese, or a hundred thousand Japanese yen would get me how much American dollars at the exchange rate of 157.69 or whatever the hell that was. Let me know in the chat. And see that almost two hours from Ueno to Tokyo Station. Uh, just walking along. There's a lot to see and do. It's actually pretty cool. Now, I do want to... Oh, they've torn it down? Oh, yeah, because they built this big-ass uh, building here. They used to have a great outdoor eatery kind of area. You can see all kinds of construction still going on all around the station area. 646 dollars. See, so I'm losing $350, basically. Well, in my opinion, ish kind of thing. <laughs> so I'm taking a thousand Japanese money and I'm only getting 650 American. If, to me, it still feels like I'm, I'm getting ripped off like crazy. So I hope in the next couple of months, something happens with the yen. Even if I can get down to 140 something again. It's, it's insane. But I do have a way of getting American money without exchange rates too. So, so yeah, right on this corner here, before they big, built this big ass building, they used to have a great outdoor area. Eatery and uh, all kinds of different things. 
This is Tokyo Midtown Yaisu. Uh, it is all kind of brand new. We'll check it out later. The math is above my pay grade. Mom, I believe that. <laughs> So yeah, taking a look at the Aisu side where we're going to finish up. Absolutely insane. I guess I should have crossed over there. God damn it. Maybe I can make it. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Watch. Tokyo Drew running. Oh my God. Oh, I'm out of breath already. This is where you're going to see all the travelers coming. I wish they would go over to the other side, see the Marinucci side, but uh, this is where all the taxi drops off are, the buses are, which we'll walk through in a second. I'm just gonna sit down here for a minute. Still, you can see how god awful. I don't know, I don't like it. The big wing of the spaceship. People sneaking smokes over there. See, even Japanese do it. That's what I wanted to say. I like these little rock benches that they got over here. I'm gonna sit down and have a bit of a drink again. <coughs> Let me turn the camera around here for a minute. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully we can uh, squeeze right in here and have some more of that, uh, that peach, peachy drink that we got in Akihabara. Oh, it's so fizzy. What? Oh, thank God I caught it. It, 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 it kind of spurted, it squirted. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was the outside of the bar. Oh, that was stupid. Ah, it is a hot day here. But I'm looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Don't have to shave. I should actually have my, um, my chrome dome getting tanned up here because I'm going to Vegas, baby. But yeah, it'd be nice uh, for a lot of you uh, to come out. Let me know if you can, if you are gonna make it. I do need 100% um, confirmation though. Uh, once you book your tickets and uh, your hotel or whatever, let me know uh, because we are gonna be um, booking uh, Grimaldi's, um, number one. And uh, we need to know how many people for that, for the meetup. Also, uh, if, if you're interested in Miss Steer, let me know, because I need to know how many tickets um, I need to order. And the, the, the sad part is though, is that if you are gonna go to Miss Steer with me, you need to pay me via PayPal, um, the price that I'm give, letting you guys know. And then I gotta pay that to, to Ryan, um, and then he's gotta buy the tickets that way. So. Um, this way, I don't want to be stuck with an extra ticket or anything like that. If you don't show up, you don't show up, but um, that's how it's going to work. I'll, I'll talk to most people about that uh, later on. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. I really can't. Minus two this morning, damn Kyle. Do you live in Japan? NK yes, I've lived here for 19 years, uh, NKKM. Um, I work full time for, for all that time, the same job, and uh, love, I love my company. I love, um, oh, it's a bee. Oh, my first, I've seen my first bee. Um, I love my job, I love my company, and I love the people that I work with. I have amazing bosses, amazing teachers, amazing coworkers. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better, so. All right, I gotta, uh, one more sip, and then we'll get going. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta meet Lucky Lou in an hour and a half, but I won't be like, oh, oh, okay. I was like, why can't I get my bag back on? <laughs> I'm 100% for Ryan. What, Ronald? How are you? I'm not gonna even pronounce your last name. All right. So again, this is the Yaisu uh, Central entrance area. You got the Japan Rio Cafe over there, which uh, I'll kind of come and show you. And it's gonna be a lot of business along this way. 
I'll show you the bus stop area. This is the Station Square Guide area here. Uh, you do have Daimaru, which has the Prada, the LV, a lot of different shopping. <laughs> but this is your Japan Rail Cafe here. Which they do have the tatami mat. Uh, John Dobb from Only in Japan Go actually was one of the first people to uh, live stream from here, I think with Peter, years ago. You can see uh, the tatami mat area inside here, like little private room. Just They just have the one little area inside there, which is still pretty cool. You can hang out, go on your PC like this guy is doing here. You know, a nice cafe, sit on the floor, sit on the cushions. And then as I turn around, this is obviously inside the station area. We'll just kind of walk out. I just see so many beautiful hellos. Tour groups are assembling all in this area right here. Never been down there, or at least thought maybe I have, but just never really paid attention to the exit area. The one thing I've never done, I think, is gone up this escalator. But can we walk up here? Let's go find out. I've never done it up here. That's kind of cute though, having all the uh, little seating on the sides there. I've never come up here, so this is a first with you guys. Just let me know the price. Well, I guess you better uh, go get out on that street corner there, uh, zombie rabbit, and raise the 2000. <laughs> <coughs> nice little street view. You can see a lot, again, more construction going on over there. More buildings going up. Oh, this is gorgeous up here. Get the terraced bar up here. Nice little, uh, what is this? Hitachino. It's a beer place here. Nice little seating areas along there. Everybody's having their beers at uh, 12.30 for lunch. This is gorgeous. Il Viaggio or something. Wow, this is actually really nice sitting up here. Sitting up here for lunch, the backdrop of the walls are just resting on the, off to the side here. Probably really good. Wood fire grill, Australian Angus beef. They got Korean beef, smoked chicken thighs. Kids are enjoying McDonald's, love it. There's your Macca's Feng. Hello is having a really good day, absolutely. Decent beer, yeah? Beer. Look at this, I'm, I'm glad I walked up here. My first time for everything, guys. This is the bus area that I was talking about earlier. This is where you're gonna get all your highway buses down in Nagoya, Osaka, if you wanna take a bus. <laughs> it can get pretty crazy, but these are the JR uh, bus area. Going every which way, north, south, east, west, I guess. It's a pretty good view, eh? <coughs> I like the fact that they have these little tables in these sitting areas. Okay, like seriously, having this wooden bar up here. No, 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 uh, no chairs, but again, if, they had, if you had some stools sitting along here, just kind of looking out, enjoying your, uh, enjoying your time, you know. Uh, you're looking at Tokyo's Midtown Yaisu, but hey, why not? They got the KO bus, I think that's, or is that the Kintetsu bus from Nagoya over there? More escalators going down. Oh, I can see Makas right there. You see it, ladies and gentlemen, right down there? There's a Maccas. I got security up here. I'm gonna have to go back downstairs. Oh, it's another hello. So that's pretty cool. So you can come up here, kind of enjoy a, a lunch or, you know, um, sitting outside, just relaxing. Looks like a nice little area. Especially if you got a layover. Say you took a Shinkansen, then you gotta get a bus. 
got an hour or two to wait, by, abs by all means, come check it out. These are the bays one to six. Can't see exactly where they're all going to right now, but uh, we should be able to check it out quickly. So again, everything's gonna lead into the station. The Tokaido Shinkansen is basically right there. Those are the Sanyo Shinkansen tickets. Uh, Sanyo, sorry. The Tohoku Joetsu Shinkansen is a bit down further. The bus bays. So again, they do have Japanese and I believe they have English. Let's just check it out and see uh, if it changes into English, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, they're looking, I'm just, I have a big tour group passing by me here. So this is going to Gotemba, which is south. Sendai, I'm trying to read kanji here. Shinyuraisu, Sendai, Hitachi Ota, Hitachi Daigo, Sendai Station. So all these people right here are part of one tour group. Damn. No, sign up for Tokyo Jew Travels. Personal tours, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you right now though, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, if I do uh, go full-time YouTube one day in the future, I will be uh, getting my website back up and running for my videos, my store, and also probably offering personal tours. Uh, a lot of people have said I should, uh, you know, people come to Tokyo, they want more of a, a local tour kind of style thing instead of, you know, a bunch of people following some lady holding a flag. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then this way, Mindy's mom can stop asking me, will you take me there? Will you take me there? Because I will take you everywhere. <laughs> Again, you do have a schedule here for all the different things going on. Narita Airport, uh, Narita Airport, I see uh, Mito Station in Ibaraki down here, all kinds. So you can always check to see exactly what's available, what times, you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> Welcome to Tokyo, Japanese convenience store. No shit. No shit, it's a convenience store. And they have vending machines inside. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we found the lunch pack vending machine here. Right here, where they have some of the craziest, craziest sandwiches. Yakisoba sandwich, tamago and lettuce. I'm not sure exactly what the hell that is. Oh, horrible. Mayonnaise and ham, that's tuna. They have cheese hamburg, a cheese hamburg sandwich. Katsu, peanut butter, or in Japan they would call that penis butter. My favorite is usually the tuna. Very easy to get. I got uh, some sort of banana snack up there. Maybe I'll try that. A banana snack. Let's try that, guys. I need something sweet. And again, this is all part of this little convenience store area here. Like, that'd be a nice gift right there. Wouldn't it? All right, we're going to get the banana one here. 130 yen. It's number one. Number one. And let's watch it fall. Oh, I got to press the button. Here comes the thing to bring up again. And away we go. And down we go. Where's my change? I thought that was 130 yen. It says 130 yen right there. And they charged me 180 yen. Well, that's a rip off. I just got ripped off, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it is probably worth 180 yen. But change your sign, it says 130 right there. Oh no, I put 150 yen in. Duh. <laughs> okay, like I said, I have a, I'm a few bricks short of a load. Sorry. Whoa. Gotta go find a ledge. 
and we finalized. Let's go take a taste test of what the hell these things are here. That'll probably be our final vending <coughs> machine thing. I'm a jiggy going on. I do have a coffee from yesterday, I forgot. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So this here is uh, Hitoiki Cafe. It is a banana cream. Chemo fries your brain. Ask me how I know. Mm. Called Chemo Fog, yes. My boyfriend had that after, my BFF, I mean, had that after her cancer for many years ago. Oh yeah, I, I'm just naturally stupid though. I have a friend. Hello. What's your name? Hello. Damn. Okay, he's leaving me now. So again, I haven't tried these from a vending machine. Break it open and uh, it looks like a cheap version of Tokyo Banana. Mm. Actually, it's pretty damn good, people. Mm. This is good. This is actually really good. Mm. Damn. Oh, slow. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Drew. You're looking well, brother. Take care. Thank you. Appreciate it. I really do. Thank you for the super chat, guys. This isn't bad, actually. You know, if you want something sweet, 130 yen. Okay, I thought it was 200 yen I put in the machine. Okay, sue me. I think this would be make a great snack. You know, give you that energy to, you know, you're feeling down. Can't go wrong with coffee. And all the pigeons. Uh, of course, it is Saturday here, so Tokyo Station is going to be busy. Now, one travel tip I always I always say is, if you are going to travel on the Shinkansen. Try to do it during the week. It's going to be less busy. Um, if you get unreserved tickets, there might be a chance you're standing up. I remember years ago, I took a Shinkansen up to Sendai, and I had to stand until the next stop and people got off. It was, you know, you pay hundreds of dollars, and sometimes that's why you always get reserved tickets, of course. But. If you are going to travel around Japan, the weekend, yeah, it seems like, you know, it's a good thing to do, but personally, it's always busy. So why would you do that, right? Uh, let me finish this. Hmm. This was a good choice at 130 yen. Hmm. Typically, I don't even come into this area. That's why you always get green car. Mm. Green car, reserve seats, whatever it is. Get it on the weekends. During the week, you want to save a little bit of money? Absolutely get the unreserved. And unless you're going to, you know, travel around Japan from Tokyo to Kyoto to wherever, um, don't even bother the JR pass sometimes. Especially sometimes I've heard people come to Tokyo, they get the JR pass and they never leave Tokyo. Waste of money, you know, so. All right, last bite. This is worth 130 yen, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Now calories. One of those sticks was 156 calories. I just did 312 calories. By the way, today's my cheat day. That's why I decided to do vending machine stuff. Mm. And cheers to all of you.
Jeremy just posted something on the idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, uh, I'm heading over to, um, I forget the hotel name, but I think it's around here somewhere. <laughs> or it's right in front of me, I have no idea. Grand Tokyo South Tower. Where's everybody coming from? Oh my God, I have no idea. But well, we are on the Yaisu side. Uh, my God, like, I've never seen this many people in this area. Man, I, ha I do have OMS. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not wearing my hat. Did I lose my hat? Oh my God, where is my hat? Uh, <laughs> duh, Drew, you put it in your bag. Send me the link about the buffet about Tokyo Station. Oh, okay. That's a pretty cool name right there, Bug. Well, great coffee shop. Wow. Pretty long. Looks pretty damn cool. And the Four Seasons Hotel here. This is where I plan on uh, finishing up, ladies and gentlemen, the Four Seasons. Hello. Again, more construction, as you can see across all the blue. That's all construction going on here in Tokyo again. These are nice if they were fully bloomed or whatever. I like the purple. Oh, it's a bee. It's a bee. Ah, run away. Run away. <coughs> now we are coming into the Four Seasons Hotel area. Kind of bland looking entrance. I hope it gets a little bit better looking. Oh, I see kind of a garden over here. You've never heard of Yecha? Lavenders and bees like it? Awesome. Well, that's why Japanese people are skinny, Feng. Don't eat much and do a lot of walking. I don't know, I'm just saying. Well, this is nice, I've never seen this area. See, big ass windows, big lobbies, useless space, but oh well, it is what it is. I just wanna get out of the sun here. Oh my. Oh yeah, no, 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 I'm too young, oh my God. Nice little uh, rest sit down area. Now it says do not enter here. So that's too bad that you can't kind of uh, sit in this area. That'd be pretty cool. And as you hop over to the other side, that there is the International, Pla uh, International Forum area. Uh, Shake Shack is over there. And as you keep walking, you're gonna hit uh, Uraccio area down in that area there. But uh, we're gonna, Finish up just over here. Oh, there's a brewery right there. Nihonbashi Brewery. That's pretty cool. Okay, I gotta sit down for a sec, guys. Give me a uh, minute as I try to uh, uh, sit you guys on the ledge here. Oh, yes. And there we go. Oh, hi, Twanda. How are you? <laughs> so, um, what's in my back pocket? I hate when I have something in my back pocket. Oh man, Hiro me. She washed my pants and I had a receipt in the back pocket. She didn't check the pockets. Oh, I'm gutted people, I'm gutted. I hate having paper products in my jeans after being washed. <laughs> I'm so high maintenance. Four more likes to get 150? Really? Oh, come on guys, smash that like button if you haven't. That would be awesome. 
150 would be a record in a live stream for me. That's amazing. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy like our, you know these tours that we do walking around. Um, hopefully, I show you some interesting things, even if it's the same uh, you know walking path or something. Um, three more to go. Awesome, Ram. Um, you know, always appreciate it. Um, I know Ram. If we hit 150 likes, he's gonna he's gonna gift another membership. <laughs> it's kind of something that we do. I, I, again, I miss El Snado Rake. He used to be the, he was kind of like the creator of it and Ramsey Silent is a sergeant in charge, <laughs> the way I call it. But <clears throat> we, as of this morning, we were down to 188 uh, Emoji Club members. So trying to get back up over 200 again would be awesome. Uh, if you're not a part of channel memberships, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, um, you know, you do have access to uh, badges. Uh, Ramsey Silent yesterday got one of the black badges and uh, 151. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Um, but it also does go to ch a local charity uh, each and every month. This is our fifth year, I think, doing it. Thank you, Ram. I appreciate that, brother. Um, also, if you are interested, uh, just to let you know, I do have a store um, and these are my team drew um, uh, cancer t-shirts uh, helping support me and my uh, you know, my fight for uh, stage 4 lung cancer right now. Next week I will find out the progress with a CT scan after two chemo treatments. I can't wait to share it with you. I will be going live in the hospital to share that with you of course. Um, but yeah, check out uh, the links there of course. And uh, last up is uh, I do have a donor box of course uh, where I've had over 200 and I think 17 people uh, graciously donate towards uh, my helping me uh, pay all my bills uh, in the fight for uh, cancer. Chemo, immunotherapy, it's no joke, man. It, it is not cheap. Um, and uh, I'm off work. So I've been off work uh, for a month and a half now. Uh, off work for at least uh, two and a half more months, if not a few more months, who knows. But either way, if you uh, can, it's only available payments by PayPal, but I do appreciate that also. So thank you, I just wanna let you guys know that. Um, <clears throat> I have to do some filming today. After my live streams, um, I usually just run home. Um, I don't usually stay out uh, in the late afternoon, but I am, look I'm, I am meeting up with Looky Lou uh, somewhere in this area uh, in about an hour from now. Um, and then I want to do some filming, um, do some shorts, uh, videos. Um, I do post shows, videos, you know, once a month or everybody says I should do, do enough filming to post videos and post one every day. But some of you watch the shorts, some of you don't, uh, I get new subscribers from shorts sometimes. So that's pretty cool too. But, uh, either way guys, uh, thank you so much. Thank you to my moderators for being here at Emoji Club support. Uh, we had 150 likes. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Shinkan Sen, going by. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. We will see you again soon. I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow. <coughs> I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. I take our babies for rabies shots tomorrow to the vet. And who knows what else the wife has me doing. Um, so we'd be either, maybe we'll be live tomorrow or maybe we'll be live uh, Monday morning. Uh, not exactly sure, but thank you guys so much. I do hope that you do check out all my other videos. Speaking of, check out these two videos here. Sign up for my Patreon, help support the channel, and check out Tokyo Drew Travels. Keep it real, keep it raw straight to yourself, because I always do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.